A change is coming. A new consciousness is manifesting itself. The people are waking up, steering away from our empty materialistic endeavors, turning from the exoteric to the deeper, esoteric. If we step back in time to the nostalgic yesteryear, gods were used to explain the unknown, the terrestrial and celestial phenomena. In times when the sun was named Ra, or when God Almighty the Omnipresent was used to explain away the unexplainable, led by the ordained, the people were to be kept obedient under imposed morality to guide and contain. But nothing is incorruptible, least of all man. After the breakup of the church's influence, the disillusionment of man, in the face of God and church due to speculation in the realms of morality and ethics, faith, the very thing the church is devout to uphold, was lost. Many began looking elsewhere for answers and a new God to believe in, this new God was science. A new certainty could be forged on that which can be tried, tested and proven. Our new champions of Boffin were to be sent out, to explore the known universe in search of solutions to the as yet unknown. No longer were we in need of the likes of Prometheus who in Greek mythology is said to have created man of clay and with a god-defying feature and then gave us fire. No, we now put our belief in our own flesh, we put our trust in man. Years passed. Decades and while we waited for our torchbearers to return with the new flame to enlighten, we go about making ourselves comfortable. We look for solace and distraction in materiality and we get very good at it. We get so caught up in the matters of matter that we completely forget that we are waiting. After some time we feel there is something missing, we realize we are again being lied to, sold a dream without reality. This is the consumerist capitalism way of living, resulting only in short-term satisfaction. No amount of stuff can fill the void we have forgotten to look into. We now look and become imbued with a dull underlying anxiety, which builds, begetting suffering. It is our consciousness, our awakened mind, that which sets us apart from our animal planetary co-inhabitants. It is our need to know which causes this suffering. We also begin to realize that this overabundance has come at a price, a cost to our Mother Earth. We have been blindly ravaging that which sustains us, so we now look for alternative ways of living, focusing not on the short-lived material satisfaction, but on an inner joy and sustained peace of mind. We are seekers, once more, 